Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing my newest Bottega Veneta handbag in my collection and I just recently picked this up when I was in New York City. I bought it from The Real Real so if you did not see my what I got in New York City video, spoiler alert, this is what I got. This is a newer bag from Bottega Veneta and this was never really on my radar until I saw it in this specific shape. So I have been wearing it and getting a feel for how it wears, how much it fits, and kind of the overall durability, so I'm excited to share that with you. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa, and I have a blog called The Gals Guide, and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful for you, and I genuinely love chatting with you in the comments down below. I am truly grateful to have this platform to connect with each of you and I'm so thankful there are so many of you out there that have the same passion for handbags that I do. So that being said, let's get into the video. So I have the handbag right here, the Bottega Veneta Mini Cassette Tote and it is right here. So this is like a very beautiful woven soft leather. It is very on brand with Bottega's leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is so, so soft. I believe that this is a lambskin. I'm not 100% on that, but it is just so beautiful like to feel. It's a very tactile bag, and I love the fact that the handles are thin but substantial feeling and very comfortable. Like the whole bag in itself is very lightweight. I do have the crossbody strap tucked into the bag, but it is removable and adjustable, which I will show you. The bottom of the bag does not have feet, so this definitely could get dirty, especially because it is so soft. But this is like kind of like a butterscotch color. I'm not exactly sure what the name of this bag is. Again, I did buy this from the Real Real, but it was in perfect, pristine condition. It came with the dust bag and original tag, so this is the crossbody strap, and it has a lot of adjustments here. And so I have this about midway through, and it fits me in a really nice length. I will show you this styled on me as well. And then on the inside, this was a game changer for me. So what I love about this bag is it has this magnetic closure, so you have like a little bit more security with this tote style bag. There are a lot of brands that do this bag, similar like with the shape and the size. So Celine has a mini vertical bag, Balmain has one, Louis Vuitton has a similar shape like this, and all of those don't have any security. They're just like an open top. This was like an added feature for security for me and it almost adds to the like luxuriousness of the bag. So I do have it stuffed right now with a few of the dust bags. So this is the actual Bottega Veneta dust bag and it's super super soft. So I was glad that it came with this and that everything was really perfectly in great condition and it smells brand new which I think is really great. So the inside is just like the basket kind of weave throughout and then on the back you have a zipper pocket which is really nice to keep like little things in. So overall the functionality of the bag is really really easy to carry. It's very basic. The fact that it's so lightweight and it has that added security is amazing. When I tried this on I just did not want to take it off. It just felt so comfortable to wear. This bag is definitely crafted with a lot of layers of leather and it's very high quality. I definitely think that Bottega Veneta is a designer brand that is worth it. And in addition to that, I would say I love the fact that they just have that kind of like statement of woven bags and there's not a lot of logos or branding. So overall, this is a really beautiful like basket looking bag and I have been wearing it in the summer, but I think it's going to make an amazing fall bag. So more to come on that. But I do want to show you what fits in this bag. So I am going to start stuffing it and it's just kind of like one big catch all. So I'm going to show you what I've been carrying and then we'll kind of add and see how much more I can get in there. But I do have my phone here. This is the iPhone 14 Pro. This does fit in there perfectly. There's a lot of room on both sides and above it. So you can see the height is definitely taller than a phone, which I think is great for this still being a mini bag. You can get a lot in here. So the next thing I'm gonna put in there is the Louis Vuitton key pouch in the Damier Azor print. I've been using this as my wallet. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I also have a pair of sunglasses. So these are the Key Australia high key minis. And this is in the case. It's like a pretty thin 
in case, but I will show you what this looks like all kind of stacked together in the bag. So everything really stays in place, which I appreciate. Then I'm also going to put in my key fob. So I got this really cute key case on Amazon. They have them for all different key models. So I just thought that was so cute. And then I have some travel Advil, a Dior lip oil. I absolutely love this. Then I have some gum. This is the extra gum in the case. So I'll show you how that's looking. We still have a ton of room left over. So everything just kind of lays in there nicely and vertically, I would say, like everything just kind of stands up on its own. I also have a hand sanitizer with this cute little pizza cover from Bath and Body Works. So that's going on there. My friend got me that, which I love. And then I have another lipstick. This is the Glossier Generation G lipstick. So that's going in there. So that's really everything that I would need to fit in there and I don't think I would need any more. However, for the sake of this video, I am gonna add one more thing. So I just picked up this bedazzled like pill container. So in here, I just put like my vitamins and like things like odds and ends. So this is like pretty thick and this would also be like the size of my headphones case for reference. So I am gonna put that in there and it does fit. It's a little like, chunky but it does fit and this will still close on the top if you can see so that is a ton in there you can definitely fit like multiple slgs it definitely feels a little bit heavier but it's still very lightweight of a bag like i have a lot in here so it is like weighing it down a bit and the fact that the crossbody strap is thin it might be a little bit heavier but i think that this is an amazing size and it looks really great on the body in my opinion i think it looks like it fits because it's like vertical so it's not too wide but you still have a lot like going on in here like there's a lot happening in this bag so I absolutely love the capacity I think that just the ease of use for me is going really well with this bag I have one other Bottega Veneta bag in my collection and it is the mini pouch love that bag I think it's so cute makes a statement but it definitely doesn't fit a lot it's like you have to kind of puzzle piece your stuff in there and I love it as an evening bag but this is more of like an everyday catch-all casual also take it out to dinner bag I love taking the strap off or just tucking it in and wearing it out to dinner or like to brunch I have worn this quite a bit so far and I've been really loving it so I am going to do some mod shots to show you what this looks like styled on me I am five foot two for reference so first you can wear this on the crook of your arm and just carry it like this which I think looks great again very comfortable to wear it's a very lightweight so this isn't really going to like weigh your arm down you can also just like carry it as a top handle which is cute as well this is what it looks like as a crossbody. I wear it like this a lot. This is definitely the most comfortable way for me because I like to be hands-free and I love where it lays. It's very easy access for me to get in and out of my bag and I love how it like lays on the body. I think that it just looks really proportionate. So I love this. I love that it takes up space but it's also not too loud. So this is what this looks like on me. Last but not least, as a shoulder bag, I never really wear it like this. I think it hangs kind of awkwardly but this is where it would lay as like a long shoulder bag. This is a very casual, I'm going to the grocery store kind of look. So this also works and I think that the bag just really makes its own statement however you wear it. So what would I give this bag out of 10? I would probably give this bag a nine out of 10. I'm taking off a point simply for one reason and it's really just the design of the bag, but it makes me a little bit nervous. So with all the weaving here, you can easily just like stick your finger through these weaves. If I can get my finger through here, I would imagine this could get caught on other things. So like, I would never wanna see it get snagged in a door or anything like, that makes me a little nervous. Like, just on little things that could get caught and like potentially rip the leather. It is a pretty thick like material. Like, the thickness of the weave here, if that makes sense, is pretty good. Like. You could certainly cut it with scissors, not that you would do that, but I'm just saying like it would take a very specific thing to get caught in here for it to rip. But I think that is just the way Bottega bags are made. Like there are a lot of their bags that don't have an inside lining and that is kind of a means for concern as far as the like longevity of the bag if it is gonna get snagged on things. I do think the structure of the bag is going to keep its 
shape. Like I don't think it's going to lose its shape over time, which I think is amazing. I think the only thing is that little pain point and then potentially like the leather getting scratched because it is so soft and it's matte. So that is the one thing that I would say is probably a downside to this bag or to any Bottega bag. If you are someone who doesn't own something from them, their leather is so soft. It's so beautiful and it definitely stands the test of time as far as like how well it holds up. It's just like the durability of it getting scratched and potentially like ripped is definitely something that I would keep in mind. I do baby my bags. I try to be very like kind to them when I'm carrying them, but sometimes things happen and you just can't you just can't control it. But overall, I think that this is an amazing bag. I love how much it fits. I love carrying it. I think it is such a trendy piece right now, but I also love the fact that Bottega Veneta and their bags truly do stand the test of time. Like, I don't think that this will ever go out of style because it's like, it's a Bottega, you know? But I do think that this weaved look is very hot right now. So I'm really glad I could get my hands on this. I absolutely love it. If you have any questions about this bag, I'd be happy to answer those for you in the comments down below. If you're still here with me, thank you so much. I so appreciate you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you think I should do more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.